This presentation is going to be on page 6. It's about molecules, compounds, and mixtures. Please turn to page 6. We're going to take a look at molecules first. Take a look at these two pictures. They're both considered to be molecules. This set over here is a molecule of water. You'll notice that there's one oxygen and two hydrogen. This set over here is nitrogen. These are both nitrogens. They're both the same element or atom. Molecules can either be different or they can be the same. So they're a group of two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds. And chemical bonds is that attraction to each other that hold those atoms together. So if you can see, this one has three different atoms, and this one has two atoms, but they're both held together by those bonds. Molecules can have different atoms, or the same. Like if you see here, these are the same, but these ones are different. And using water as an example, which this right here is water, water is made up of an atom, of oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Now we're going to take a look at what compounds are. Both of these pictures represent chemical compounds. If you notice, each of the little balls is represented by a different color. That's important because with compounds, unlike molecules, the atoms need to be different. Different elements' atoms combine to form compounds. Now, if you're looking at this part right here, this is what we had before as a molecule. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of this part that's right here is, is also uh, is a compound. It's also, the tiniest part is also a molecule. The only reason that this one's a, um, a compound is because the atoms are different. The compounds are always in a ratio. It represents the chemical formula. So if you take a look over here, this is co you have copper and you have sulfur right over here combined. They combine to form this material called so copper sulfate. They have to be in this ratio in order for this to happen. Finally, we're going to talk about mixtures. Mixtures are different compared to the other two because they're not chemically bonded. Here are mix uh, two different mixtures. The difference between a mixture and everything else that we've looked at is they are not chemically combined or chemically bonded. Mixtures are made up of two or more substances and atoms, and are atoms, not chemically bonded together. These atoms keep their own properties, and there are two types of mixtures. There's heterogeneous mixtures where you can see the parts, and homogeneous mixtures where you cannot see the parts. So if you can see here, here's your guacamole, and you can see the different parts. For the soy sauce, you cannot see the different parts, so those are homogeneous.